Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple on bikes. So, let's get started. Now, we are going to see this effect of reactive gyroscopic couple while the rider is taking a left turn. Like in this example, when we are seeing the rider is taking a left turn. And this left turn we have to observe while we are observing us as the rider. It means we have to behave as the rider and see that we are riding the bike and taking the left turn. So we get the direction of this left turn. Next, after this left turn is fixed, here the wheels which we are seeing, that is the front wheels, as an observer from outside, as an observer, it should be turning in an anti-clockwise direction. So when we are looking as an observer, and it means from this end when we are seeing from over here, the wheels should be rotating in a clockwise direction. And if it is rotating from clockwise direction over here, from the other end, it should rotate in an anti-clockwise manner. So that we have to remember. And for that, I can explain it in this way. Like for example, if I am rotating any object from my direction, it is in a clockwise sense. But from the observer who is observing from the other direction, it looks as anti-clockwise rotation. So here the rotation which I am showing, that is clockwise from my end. But from the observer at the front, it is in an anti-clockwise direction. So same thing is happening over here. From these, this side when we are seeing, it is a clockwise rotation. But from the observer end, it is in an anti-clockwise manner. That is the rotation of the wheel. Next, this wheel is rotating about an axis. So this is the axis of rotation of the wheel. And this axis would be called as the spin axis. Then I need to show here this is the angular velocity of the wheel. So here we have the angular velocity of the wheel denoted by omega suffix w. And here we have the spin axis. Now I need to show this angular velocity in the form of vector. For that I have to use the right hand rule. And by using the right hand rule I have to curl the fingers in an anti-clockwise manner. Because as an observer we are standing here the rider is taking a left turn. And I have to curl the fingers in an anti-clockwise manner. So the thumb is pointing towards the direction. This direction of the thumb shows the vector position of this angular velocity. So I would show it in the form of a vector. So this is the velocity vector. Next, if the biker was moving on a straight road, that is if he is not taking a turn, in that case, the precision velocity is not there but since the rider is taking a left turn in that case what happens is the wheel is rotating in an anti-clockwise manner at the same time the rider is taking a turn so there are two rotations happening at the same time so one of the rotation that is the rotation of the wheel is taking about the spin axis but the left turn which the rider is taking that is about a vertical axis which is called as the precision axis so I'll draw that axis. So this is the precession axis. And now about this vertical axis, the wheel is taking a turn while it is moving along the left direction. So here we have this left turn. So it means this left turn is being taken about an axis which is vertical. And the velocity of this left turn would be called as the angular velocity of precession. So about this precession axis, which is same over here, I have to show the left turn. And so here we have this angular velocity of precession about the precession axis. So we can see there are two kinds of rotation happening at the same time, but on two different axes. So because of that, there will be the gyroscopic effect acting on this bike. So what we have to do is, after getting the angular velocity of the wheel in the form of vector, I need to turn this vector in 90 degree. 
but that 90 degree will depend upon the direction of omega p we see that omega p is moving in this direction so the velocity the velocity vector of the wheel should also be rotated in the same sense at 90 degree in a plane i am showing this rotation it is 90 degree and here this vector which i am showing it represents omega p in the form of vector and that is called as the active gyroscopic couple and now active gyroscopic couple is the couple which is offered by the bike on the, we can say on nature or towards nature but there will be a reaction offered from the nature or from the surrounding to the bike that will be called as the reactive gyroscopic couple so that reactive gyroscopic couple is exactly opposite on this line of action so this is the reactive gyroscopic couple And now once we get this reactive gyroscopic couple we have to match the thumb with this reactive gyroscopic couple and the curling fingers are going to show us the effect of the reactive gyroscopic couple. So the thumb is matched with the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple and the curling fingers will give us capital C. Capital C is the reactive gyroscopic couple. Now this capital C would be transferred on this bike. So I am transferring it on this bike denoted by C. So here is the effect of the reactive gyroscopic couple and what we can say from this effect is that when the biker is taking a left turn then in that case due to the effect of the reactive gyroscopic couple which is acting in this direction the biker would be offered a resistance or we can say he would be moved away away from taking a turn. That is if he is trying, if he is trying to move in along the left direction then due to the reactive gyroscopic couple he would be pushed into the opposite direction. So here the biker would be pushed into opposite direction and that is why in case of racing bikes whenever they are taking a turn the biker would be tilting the bike at a particular angle because if that angle is changed, if that value is changed in that case the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple will just throw this bike while he is taking a turn. So that is the effect of the reactive gyroscopic couple while taking a left turn. So that was a small video regarding the effect of reactive gyroscopic couple on bikes. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.